Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. Without further ado, it's return of the brutes. It's more murderous than mook is. So what you're gonna do? Six to get through worth of a new worst than me. Who's determined to do permanent damage with the words of the two? I'm referred to as Zeus Circle and you think I'm a fool. Yo, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, hold up. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, because we got to speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Eminem, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, hip-hop sensation star, you know, legend, legend, we'll just refer to him as a legend, uh, gives a shout out to Murder Mook and Sue Surf on Parables of um, Corday's track remix. Eminem be doing a lot of work with uh, some of the newer artists nowadays. He says, every single word will be, so, be true, so without further ado, it's the return of the ruthless, more murderous than Mook is. I like it. Um, I will say this. This is definitely dope for battle rap, first and foremost, and it's dope for a guy like Murder Mook, who has been one of the focal points in battle rap for a very long time, one of the biggest artists to ever do it. Uh, the reason for a lot of things, like when the Smack DVDs was in rotation, Murder Mook was in the streets. He was the logo. He was the poster child of battle rap. Like, everybody was watching Smack DVD at some point from that era. You know, there's a new era of people that, you know, they came in during a different time. But if you wanted the old heads, you definitely saw Smack DVDs. You definitely saw Murder Mook getting them chips again last Smack. Him versus P80. Your watch ain't come back from Switzerland. It was made in Michigan. You know what I'm saying? Like, repping your crew, stepping the who. I don't eat. But see, but I make the exception for you. Rest in peace, party yard. Like him versus Sirius Jones, dot on his head, dot on his leg, dot dot dot. We're not doing that. Like we never, you can never take away from what Murder Mook has included and brought to battle rap. If you look at um, his career, whether it be high or low, he definitely is cemented. Like if the battle rap was an NBA stadium. Him and Lux would probably have statues outside. I'm sorry. Like I could say, I have been critical of different battles he's had, whether it be Reed or whatever the case may be, but I will never take away from what he has done from a legendary perspective. Sue Surf, he said, I'm, I'm Sue Surf, I'm Sue Surf, um, has been legendary in his own right, and in the past six months, he's been taking his career hella serious, he's got his Midnight Madness thing, he's won three battles in a row, damn near 30 clip, 30 clip, 30 clip, he wants wreck in February, him and um, Rock won't wreck in February, uh, you know, so they may be spinning the block to battle someone else in February. Uh, Surf has even went as far as saying he wants to battle on some other leagues this year. I would suggest, here is my suggestions, this is just me personally, um, the Riot would probably be a good league to battle on. It's on the West Coast, it gets respect, they just had uh, Gotti vs. A-Ward, they had Chef Trez vs. Real Name Brandon on another card. Uh, they've had a lot of dope battles over there and they get a lot of love and respect. Because Surf has to battle, if he battles on another league, he's got to battle on a league that he has respect for, whether it be league or league set owner. RBE, no. And not because RBE, RBE is a great place, but he's not going to give them what the he, him and ARP have had too much back and forth. Surf will go to RBE with one round in the three round battle. Like, that's just not gonna work. Um, and RBE got money. Hitman Holler just said he made 500,000 and he's only been over there twice. He's made damn near five. I got the bins off the showroom floor. Ooh, 500 though? Niggas, you can say whatever you want about RBE, but ain't nobody outside of Cassidy. And I don't even know how he getting that kind of money. I guess it's because of who he is and music shit like that. Ooh, that he's getting that kind of bread, but he's never had a performance that's, that's warranted that. And it's not me knocking or hating on nobody back, but he just don't have battles that that <laughs> Fuck no, he's not having those kind of performances. But, uh, you know, Sue Surf is taking his career seriously. He says he wants to battle on some other leagues this year. So my suggestions would be the Riot, uh, the Riot, Gates of the Garden versus Dre Dennis, maybe in like a one-rounder type situation. Dre Dennis will battle you today. He's probably already got a verse ready for you. Dre Dennis can battle you while I'm doing this shit. He has 100 battles a week, and I'm sure he'll do it. 
and then maybe bullpen because bullpen has had some events over there that have been pretty fire and they have a lot of upcoming talent so that's about it I, I maybe there's some other ones out there i don't want to hate on nobody's league but just off the top of my mind now back to the m&m uh, like i said it's a huge cosign for battle rap because uh battle rap has always been like the little brother to rap like they don't never really they watch it trust me they do athletes entertainers uh, you know, basketball player, they all watch it, you know what I mean? But they don't really like show the love or give a lot of love to battle rap. And now to see the artist as big as Eminem mentioned in cats like Murder Mook or mentioned in cats, and you know, Eminem's been, he, he's rocked with battle rap. He did the body movie, he did uh, Total Slaughter. So he's, you know, he's dibbled and dabbled in giving um, battle rap love and he's been able to provide, you know, Way for people to eat. Shit, a lot of people was in Body Hollow, Diz, you know, uh, Smack was had a small uh, cameo in there. I think Norbs was in. There was a lot of motherfuckers in, in Body, and that was a movie. Joseph Kahn, that shit went to theaters. You know what I mean? But uh, now to see him give an individualized shout out, it means a lot because some of the biggest MCs you'll probably never hear um, say anything or even really show love. So you know that 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 means a lot. Uh, What's next for Mook, just to be honest, I don't know as far as battle-wise. I'm sure he'll battle again, but I think his battles will probably be more so catered to smaller rooms. Uh, that big stage, it, it, it's, a, it's a beast. Like, And he's not the only person who hasn't had the biggest performance on a big stage. It's just different. It's a different aura. It's a different energy. You got to just bring, you got to be, you got to be a killer on that big stage. You know what I'm saying? I've seen Rex have them performances, him versus... um. Verb, them shotgun shells is red and lime green. When I'm squeezed, it's Gucci crime scene. I've seen Lux have those performances. I've seen, obviously, Rock has a hundred of them. I've seen Surf do it. I've seen Hitman do it. I've seen Shine do it. I've seen Hollow do it. I've seen a lot of MCs be able to cross over and do it on a big stage, but there's some legends who just have not done that. Sirius Jones has not done that on a huge stage. Iron Solomon has not done that on a big stage. And I could just go, I could be here all day saying what. They've had battles, but what big, big named MCs, Goods has done it, left you with the feeling when you left watching the event like, yo, said name is, is that nigga. Like, they, they got busy tonight. They've been on the big stage, but how many have left you with the impression like, yo, y'all better leave X, Y, and Z alone. Like, Briz has done it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's mad other MCs that have done it. Verb has done it. But you got to be able, the big stage is, is a, it's a part of it. It's just, you can't, I know it's being the COVID era, you know, I hope everybody's staying safe and stuff like that out there, but the big stages are not going anywhere. They're a part of battle rap. You got to be able to rock on big stages. But I think at this point in his career, uh, small, smaller stages, volumes and shit like that ain't too far away. He had a battle booked versus easy. The best thing that happened for that battle was for it to not happen because the way easy to, I'm not saying he couldn't, but the way easy to block captain's energy has been moving, he was going to win that day. Period. He was going to win. No questions asked. I'm not debating that. Maybe it could happen again in a different circumstance, but whatever. Uh, but overall, man, salute to both MCs. Uh, I'm just calling it like I call it so I can't spoil it. Uh, Eminem giving you a shout out is a huge accomplishment, you know, relishing it. Uh, I seen people putting up the post and was only saying that Eminem shouted out Mook and Surf quickly went and, and said no, that's not the only battle rapper he said because you want you want that clout. I don't care who you are, you a battle rapper or you are a rapper in general. Eminem's giving you a shout out. You want that clout, so he went and took his. Um, other than that, salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to get everything that comes through, and we're gonna do what we do. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Yeah, then! It's the return of the moot.